Divided the nation, many wonder, what now? Well, today, Governor Haslam had a message for all voters, no matter what your political beliefs. News Channel 5's Sarah McCarthy is live at Bicentennial Mall to explain that message. Sarah? Well, Governor Haslam did not support Donald Trump as a candidate and, in fact, publicly refused to vote for him. But today, Haslam says unity is the only way forward, and he's calling on everyone to support Trump's success as the next president. I was really surprised and just sad. On a day that feels like any other, some here say even sunshine won't change their mood. Quite sad and just kind of wondering who these people are that were feeling like Donald Trump was the best candidate, just not understanding. It is what it is. I mean, American people voted and, you know, we got a new president elected. A democracy divided. I think what a lot of people said is we can't keep going on the path we're going. Wednesday, Governor Haslam acknowledged our next greatest challenge is unity. Let's quit yelling at each other. I mean, we literally have a divided country, and we've seen for the last several years what yelling at you accomplishes, which is nothing. Haslam refused to support Donald Trump, even casting his vote for a different candidate. But today, he says none of that matters. All that's left is moving forward together. And I hope we'll say, I realize a whole lot of people think differently than I do. L let's realize that and take that approach as we start to figure out how to govern this very diverse country that we live in. But in Nashville, one of the few areas of Tennessee to vote blue, emotions are mixed. One of our amendments is the freedom, to sp uh, freedom of speech, which entails freedom of criticism. So if he is wrong about something, then we should voice our opinions. I don't feel like I am going to support him, but I do agree with the idea of unity and understanding like how we got to this place and how we can move forward. Uncertainty, some say, must be set aside. I hope he succeeds. I mean, uh, that's what we all wish for. I mean, you know, we all in this together. Governor Haslam did say Trump's tone in his victory speech last night was encouraging. That's something he hopes he'll carry with him as he takes the White House. We're live in Nashville, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5.